to you know, the shot and everything else. How was your your hand, your wrist still in there? And I guess what happened? Did something happen to it during the game? Or? Um, yeah, I think. I don't know exactly what happened, but uh, um, <clears throat> you started feeling pain and I uh, think I might have twisted it. So I'm um, going to see what's going on tomorrow. So just, just what was your... Uh... <clears throat> What was your vantage point uh, on the shot? I saw that thing happen. Um, <clears throat> I mean that's a you know one of my favorite spots, and uh, I, I just missed from uh, from right there to uh, to end the game. Uh, so you know I just thought you know great play call. Uh, Tobias had a, an amazing screen. Um, Danny had a great pass. So. All I had to do really to was to finish it, and uh, I'm glad I did. I said you uh, he took all the credit. <laughs> yeah, no, that was his screen. He got me so wide open. So yeah, the shot is the reason why I made the shot really. Have you guys worked on that before? Is that something the doctors drew up right there? What, what was um, it just drew up, but we we worked on it. We ran it in the past. Uh, if you remember the turnover that I actually had against uh, Minnesota. Um, when I didn't pass the ball, uh, when I was double team, um, on that, that was the same play call that we just ran. Uh, so glad he worked out this time. You're the first, is, is shooting that through the first option on that play? I mean, what, like, what are the, what's the decision-making process based on? Uh, well, you had Tyrese coming over the top and going to the rim for the lob. Uh, you had, uh, you know, Danny Flair and obviously, uh, Tobias setting the screen for me. And uh, if I wasn't open, probably the last result was going to be Tobias popping after the screen and uh, try to make the shot. So how did that, how, I mean, how did that making that shot feel, especially here? I mean, you know, after, what, three years ago in the playoffs, how you left the floor, how did getting this one feel for you? Oh, it felt great. Yeah, it felt great. Uh, obviously, we know what happened a couple of years ago. Um, felt great. Uh, I just knew that coming in here tonight, um, you know, that were, it was going to be a, obviously it's always a tough place uh, to play at, especially in the playoff. Um, playoff, so they got great fans. Uh, they're loud. Um, I knew, uh, you know, coming into Toronto, I was definitely going to be the bad guy, uh, you know, for quite some time. So I just wanted to come out and, you know, just, you know, let the game come to me. Uh, and, uh, but it felt great. Uh, but the job is not done. Uh, you know, we got to get one more. You know, all great, like most great players always have to like exercise demons. Like, you know, this has been a, a rough place for you. I mean, do you feel like you got the monkey sort of off your back? I'm not trying to compare to other people, but Jordan had to go through Detroit. Other people had to do certain things. For you, do you oh, look at it that way? Oh, he's on the first one. Um, you know, uh, once I get past the second one, yeah, I can start feeling that way. And then, you know, you start thinking about, you know, uh, what what's to come next uh, after the second round and, you know, uh, conference finals and obviously NBA finals and winning the whole thing. Um, so I, it's just the first round to me. Um, you know, there's, it's not, I, honestly, I really don't think, I, I haven't really thought about what happened three years ago. Obviously, the shot, uh, Makes me feel good about what kind of happened, but uh, but during this whole series, I haven't really thought about you know coming in here and trying to get my revenge. Uh, I think I'm more focused about you know trying to win the whole thing, uh, one game at a time, and uh, trying to do whatever is necessary to get us there. You're not playing the first half of your life, didn't play the way you wanted to. Seemed like in the third quarter, you really came out on a mission to change things around. What was your mindset coming out of the half of the uh, well, uh, you know, obviously I wasn't aggressive enough in the first half, and I think I only had four or five shots attempts. Uh, so I uh, just said we were down by ten. So you know, coming out of halftime, uh, I knew those first uh, those first few minutes were going to be used. So I just wanted to kind of like go back to you know imposing myself and try to be aggressive, and uh, that's what I did. And then obviously as a team, we did a good job too of just getting stops uh, when we needed them and offensively just moving the ball. Well, I, said, uh, well, I said Drake was chirping a little bit in the first half. And uh, <clears throat> so I was talking to Drake when we walked off. It seemed like it was probably a pretty fun conversation for him. 
Oh, uh, I mean, I, I didn't really hear him, but, uh, you know, I, I obviously he's always talking. Um, but, uh, of course, I had to let him know. Um, I, uh, you know, obviously, we're trying to get uh, game four and uh, go for the sweep. So, uh, hopefully, uh, tonight we didn't play our best basketball. I turned the ball over way too much. And as a team, uh, we also did. Uh, so, we, you know, those were the keys coming in, you know, taking care of the ball and, you know, offensive rebounding. Um, we didn't do that tonight. Um, you know, uh, you know, there were also more physical today. Um, you know, it was kind of, you know, they've been complaining so much about officiating. So um, I hope that we're happy uh, tonight. Um, but, uh, you know, we just got to come in, you know, next game and um, take care of what we need to take care of. You said for uh, you guys having a game like this where you don't play well in the second phase of the game, you are able to fight back on the road and ran into the overtime and James Miles out and have all the adverse circumstances. Oh, it's great. Uh, you know, when you look back, uh, 22 turnovers and, uh, you know, we allowed 18 and a nine offensive rebound, which is not a lot uh, compared to what they usually do, but uh, we're trying to be perfect. And then, uh, so, and obviously James finally now then, you know, us, you know, digging ourselves a hole uh, to start the game. Uh, this type of games, uh, you know, they matter a lot. Uh, you know, you don't have, a, you know, anything going on for you, um, but you still find ways to win the basketball game. Uh, this is good for us. For you individually, what was the difference for you in the second half? You only had five points at halftime. You had four turnovers. And then the second half, that you obviously went off, and then you only had two turnovers at the halftime. So what was the difference for you? Um, just being aggressive, uh, just being decisive. Um, every single time I put the ball on the floor uh, that we're coming, um, in the first half, they did it. Uh, in the second half, they tried to do it. So really, um, I, all I, I knew that all I had was really one dribble, and I had to make a play, whether it's for myself or for my teammates, or get the shot off. Uh, so, you know, that was really my mindset, you know, coming out of halftime, be aggressive, but then again, at the same time, be decisive about what, you know, I'm doing on the floor. Last play, and you, you break the huddle and you know there's there's a good chance you're gonna have the ball in your hands and have that shot. I mean, like, what are you even thinking? Are you what are you what's going through your mind? You know, as things getting the ball from the ref. Um, man, I'm thinking about you know. There's a reason why I went to that spot uh, to end the game. Um, you know, and, um, before overtime, um, I like that spot. Um, you know, we worked on it a lot. Uh, you know, that step back, uh, going left. Uh, so, you know, that's why, you know, going back to that spot, you know, I was just confident enough to, you know, first of all, get the shot off and, you know, try to make it. Um, like I said, it, it feels good, um, but uh, it's not over. Uh, you know, we got to close it up in two days. How hard on the screen that Tobias set for you, but just overall this entire series, what, what is he most provided for you guys? I mean, this He's been great. Um, yeah. He's been doing a good job on Pascal. Um, although, I don't know, Pascal will probably tell you he hates when I guard him uh, anyway. So, but uh, he's been doing an amazing job on them. Uh, really, whoever is guarding, um, you know, he had a, you know, a block or still on um, Trent, um, you know, in overtime. Uh, he had a couple of key stops. He's been doing that all series. And obviously, his offensive game, like I said, is decisive. Um, you know, catches the ball, whether he, he goes up to shoot the ball or he's going to make a play and get off of it. Uh, he's not trying to do too much. He's been a huge pace. Uh, you know, really everybody, especially Tyrese, um, you know, Danny. Um, so we, you know, we got a chance. We just got to, you know, do uh, what, we, uh, what we're supposed to do. How much pride do you guys take? Yeah, Siakam didn't score in the second half. Oh, how much pride do you guys take as a team that Siakam didn't score in the second half? Um, man, not nothing really. I mean, from um, man, I'm pretty confident in my defense, uh, especially you know when he game when he gets to you know winning time, uh, you know mm -hmm. in the fourth quarter, um, you know like I've always said, uh, it's funny because you know I, you know you see. Um, I saw the defensive player of the year stuff and, uh, you know, 
I was nowhere to be found, uh, which is surprising. <laughs> Thanks for this guy. <laughs> yeah, so it, I mean, the defense has really become underrated. I don't know why, maybe it's because, you know, my offensive game has taken another step. Uh, but, you know, that's really what I care about the most. Uh, so, you know, playing against a guy like Pascal, obviously, he's really good at what he does. Uh, you know, he's the best player. Uh, they run a lot of stuff through him. Uh, so, um, you know, when when that situation, I, you know, I lock in even more. And, uh, you know, to be able to defend the best player and make sure that uh, nothing is easy, uh, that he's not really able to score, uh, is always a good recipe uh, to win. A few, nights ago, a few nights ago in Philly, you said that the biggest difference between who you were in the last series against the Raptors and who you are now, it's maturity and not getting frustrated by what they do. When you think about what the crowd was like tonight, how much do you think about how mature or, or how much have you changed? How much do you see that part of yourself when you keep your cool head like that? Um, I don't get wired up. Uh, I mean, obviously, I started off the game. That first half was uh, as bad of a half I could have played. Uh, you know, just throwing reckless passes, uh, you know, just not taking care of the ball, um, you know, not really being involved in the offense and not being aggressive enough. Uh, and, you know, they let me hear about it, but I was really tuned in. I, I didn't really hear them, um, you know, obviously, uh, you know, a couple of times, you know, every time I was touching the ball, they were boom. But, I, you know, if you know me, I do enjoy it. I love it uh, because, you know, in the moments um, where you knock down a key shot or, you know, that last shot, um, you know, everybody's quiet. Uh, you know, I enjoy seeing them go home. Uh, but, you know, Toronto, they got great fans. I love them. Uh, you know, I love the back and forth. Uh, you know, uh, it's a great city. You are, uh, thanks, Jim. You were 0 for 14 in the last second shot opportunity to support that. You mentioned the shot years ago. I was talking about the first one here. <laughs> Yeah, uh, man, uh, uh, if, I mean, it feels good to finally get one, I guess. Um, but uh, that's not really what I'm focused on. Uh, I'm just glad, you know, we did whatever it took uh, to win the game. Uh, it wasn't just about a shot. Uh, you know, it was about the plays that were made before uh, defensively. Um, you know, Tyrese being aggressive uh, to start over time. Uh, Tobias getting key stops. Uh, Danny knocking down the huge three uh, in the corner. Uh, and then defensively as a team, rebounding uh, those misses from the free throw line. Uh, so it wasn't just about the shot. Uh, I think it was, uh, we, did it, we did it as a team, and uh, I'm glad we pulled it off. Jim, 